In Pyro's Hangout last night, we were talking about identity and how we more or less impose identity on an external reality in order to make sense out of it. Thingness is something that doesn't phenomenally exist, I guess. Um, again, I that's kind of what I took away from it, but I won't speak for anyone else who was involved. Um, <clears throat> but it's an interesting thought, though, isn't it? Um, Pyro uh, compares our perceptions of the inputs into us, i.e. the stuff from the outside coming in to us, the information to a data stream, a never-ending data stream, uh, dynamic. I agree. I, you know, I've always used the, the um, metaphor of the moving car, but they, you know, it's the same way of describing, or a different way of describing the same thing. So we sort of impose forms onto the chaos of experience in order to make sense out of it. Um, <clears throat> this is not to say that reality isn't there. It's just to say that we are categorizing bits of reality in a way to make it to make reality manageable. Structure and form, category, all that kind of thing. These names um, are all our creation. <clears throat> now, so we do actually bring certain aspects of reality into existence, at least stuff that we accept as real, i.e. categories, forms. It's a fascinating thought to imagine that we are actually involved in, in a sense, in the creation or the generation of at least our version of reality. That how we perceive reality may be biased and it may be, it may have a structure to it at least in terms of our perceptions, that it may not inherently have. So we are actually involved in our own epistemology, whether we like it or not. Um, so if we create categories and forms, <clears throat> what else might we create? 